here's your pre-calc. It's 10.2.1, lecture part one, parametrically defined functions. You've investigated a number of different graphs and functions in this course. Today, you will be introduced to a new type of function, a parametrically defined function. You will see a situation involving three dimensions can be modeled using a two-dimensional graph. So 10-103 says, a fox sees a rabbit hopping in the distance. He takes off running to catch the rabbit. The sets of parametric equations below represent the path of the fox and the path of the rabbit. In each set of equations, the position of each animal is x, y for any time t in seconds. Complete the parts below to analyze the motion of the fox and the motion of the rabbit to decide if the fox catches the rabbit. So they gave us some equations, which I have written on a different paper. And then there was a resource page. And I'm, I have that. I'll get that out in a second. It says, um, what are the starting positions for the fox and the rabbit? So here's my resource page. I wrote in pencil because I only had one and I was afraid I would mess up. But um, these are just those same equations that they gave us. And then it says, what are the starting positions for the fox and the rabbit? So it gave me um, some numbers to plug in for T. And so what I did is I plugged in, like for here I have zero. I want to plug in um, zero for T for the fox. That's the fox equation. So two times zero is zero minus one, and I filled it out with negative one, and then I went zero plus two. So hopefully you can understand that. I just got all these numbers from plugging in uh, numbers for t to get my x coordinate, or my x, uh, my x numbers and my y numbers, okay? My x coordinates and my y coordinates. And then I just, these are just ordered pairs. So I made the fox with little dots. So I just um, plotted points for all these. And then I did the same thing by plugging these t values in for the rabbit. So I plugged in zero. That gives me my starting point um, times zero. So zero times a half is zero plus seven. So the x coordinate was seven. And two times zero is zero minus one, so I have negative one for the y coordinate of the starting point, which is not even on my graph. And I got all the rest of the numbers just by plugging the t numbers into the rabbit's equation. And I made the rabbit with little x's. And so um, our book asks us some questions about the fox and the rabbit. It says, what are the starting positions? So you can see um, those are just when I plug in zero for t. Those are the two starting positions. And then do the paths of the fox and rabbit cross? If so, where? If not, why not? So the paths do cross. You saw that um, they crossed at 9, 7. 9, 7, they both have it on their graph and their table. Um, So it says, does the fox catch the rabbit? So you might say it looks like the fox caught the rabbit because they both, um, their graphs look like they met right there. But you have to watch out because this happened after five seconds. The fox was in that location after five seconds went by, but the rabbit was in that location after only four seconds went by. So in other words, the rabbit was right here one second before the fox was there. So the rabbit, um, the fox didn't catch the rabbit. So if the fox caught the rabbit, adjust the equations of the rabbit so that the rabbit follows the same path but escapes the fox. Well, our fox did not catch our rabbit, we can see that. Um, if the rabbit escapes the fox, adjust the equations of the fox so that the fox follows the same path but catches the rabbit. No, the fox and rabbit must start at the same time and from their original starting location. So that one was 
It was a little hard to figure that out. I think I did that on a different uh, page. Yeah, so I did that right here. So this was the original fox. Now remember the rabbit out round, the rabbit was um, at nine seven one second before the fox was. The rabbit got there at time at t equals four. Okay, so um, so I need for this minus one to equal nine. Remember, because the x coordinate was nine and the y coordinate was seven, the place where they cross is nine comma seven. Um, I need that to happen at time four instead of time five. So I need to be able to plug a four in and be able to get a nine out. So something times four minus one. So so in other words, I can't I can't change the one, like I can't give the fox a head start or anything like that because um, it told me not to change that part of it. So I need to change the rate at which the fox is running, if that makes any sense. The fox needs to run a little faster. So I can kind of figure that out by, um, I did this little math here. So something, I wrote, I called it A because I think that's what your book called it. Um, if I add one over here, I get 10. And then something times four is gonna equal 10. And then I just divide both sides and I get 2.5. And you might not even think to do it this way. You might just start adjusting. Um, you just know that this fox has to go faster. So you just maybe um, increase the two, you could try three. That's what we did last year when I was able to do this with the class is they just started um, plugging numbers in. But you can do it this way. So I know that the Y coordinate had to be seven, but they had to, it had to be at four seconds. So, um, and I did it like that. We add two to it, and then it has to equal seven. So I subtracted two from the seven, I got five. And then I divided by four, and I got two. Five uh, fourths is what? Oh, 10 fourths is 2.5. Five fourths is 1.25. So, or you could just do that with guess and check. This was. Uh, its rate was one, but you could increase it to 1.25. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, so if you did that, basically if the fox would run a little bit faster, you could adjust his little equation so that he's running faster so that they would actually both meet. Um, you can't, you weren't allowed to adjust their path. So you have to in, adjust to the speed and they would both meet at nine seven but it would be um, at the same time because here they went this, they were the same place, but not the same time. Okay, so that was 10-103. Uh, and then 10-104 wanted you to use your graphing calculator, but I have an e-tool for you and I'm gonna send that to you in a link. Um, it's, a C, it's a Desmos CPM e-tool and it has a little picture of a rabbit and a little picture of a fox and a slider bar so you can see their paths. It looks a little bit like this, but it shows them running and it shows that the fox misses the, the rabbit and then you can change your parameters on there so that they meet so that you wouldn't have to do this weird this thing that's a little confusing. You would have been able to use your e-tool on it, but I'm gonna, I can give that to you, I think. So I'll email you that link. Um, let's see, I'm thinking 10-105 and 106, we'll do that in part two.